All right, lads, here's the longer version of how to make char cloth. There's a few tips and tricks that I can give you. Anyway, you just need a tin. This I got was just a sucrus. I found it, I didn't even buy it. I peeled the sticker off. I put the, the dryer lint inside and I just took this torch, it's map gas, and I got it hot. I didn't get it red hot. Um, I just went around and, and, t and charred off all the paint. The right, I need to wipe it down, and get rid of the rest of that stuff, make it look pretty. And uh, that's really it. There's no nothing special about the tin. You don't need to poke a hole in it. None of these are airtight, so the gases are going to leak out. I did ever shooting out of the sides, flame and everything. You see it's a little warped. Every every bit of metal gets warped when you heat it. Even your mom's frying pan, you can see it. You'll be able to spin it on the... Anyway, rant. So just grab something. This is dry lint. Uh, what I did was I just took it, a bunch of dry lint and I packed it in there, um, which I'm going to do right now. And you don't need anything fancy. Shoot, you can push in some leaves maybe a piece of cardboard or something cardboard's another really good option simply because like the stems they just pop and get out of the way it's a really good option because you can pick this whole sheet up and you can stick it on the edge of your of your 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 flint like that really easily and then just pop on it like that you want to give it a nice quick whack anyway um, paper towel works great. That's another option. I usually wrap my flint and steel in paper towel because I keep it in my camera bag over there and I don't want it to ruin anything. So wood works well, but you got to be picky about your wood. Punk wood works the best. So if you find an old rotten stump with, with really spongy wood, grab some of that. It works really, really well. It's free. Uh, it leaves are free too, but you can do any of that. Basically, once you get to that, um, cloth works great. So you can use cotton rope it just needs to be cotton if it's polyester it's gonna melt it's gonna just melt into a gooey mess and ruin and it won't it won't make char cloth it'll just make a puddle of, of chunky blackness and you don't want that cotton works the best you can get a dozen of these at the dollar store for ironically a dollar fifty because dollar doesn't equal dollar anymore Bidenomics. anyway leaves sticks work great but this is for another video i'm gonna show you how to make a good tinder bundle anyway so pack it in there shut it off and we're gonna go ahead and roast it just fast forward pack get everything flammable out of the way the ADD is on hyperdrive today so I'm gonna turn it off I'm gonna get it hot once it gets hot don't grab it with your hands use a stick of some kind but basically we're just gonna roast this up if you keep it in one place and you notice it starts getting red move it around see the smoke starting to come out that's good People will throw this in a fire. I don't like that method. Simple reason is that it get, gets all kinds of soot on it, and then the, everything it touches, it turns black. I just roast it up really good. Get a stick to move it around. All the noises are normal. It's just metal contracting, expanding. You'll see that the smoke coming out, it'll start to catch fire, um, which is not a bad thing, as long as it's not inside the tin, which as long as this, if this is shut, it's not. You're just depriving it of oxygen. So you got the heat, the gases will escape. You're just depriving it of oxygen. So that's completely normal. See the fires? As long as it's not in there, and as long as this is shut, you know it's not. So you're golden there. Let's get this top good and hot. Dutch oven stove here. Like the gases, that's what burns. The gas and the smoke is what burns. The object actually doesn't burn. It feels good on the hands. It's cold out here today, lads. And what you're looking for is the tin to stop smoking, stop burning. I'm gonna try to flip this over in a minute. I feel like I'm, it's gonna get hot in there. When the tin's red, it's fine. You just don't want it to stay red too long because it will turn it into ash. Or if I can, that's why I got this thing. Flip that over and do the other side. And now we got some good smoke on there. See the bottom slightly warped? That's completely normal. Oh, try and open up, we don't want that. Might be getting close. And the smoke is slowed down. Just get all the edges, all the corners, all the sides. Do this use safety glasses because the stuff will pop. Burn on my rag, but it's going to get burnt anyway. It's going to get charred. It's going to get charred, not burnt. Alright, I think we're about there. Just get this side, make sure we got everything. See bits of flint and steel from my last video popping off. Yeah, we're about done. I'm going to go ahead and call it right there. You see there's no more smoke leaking out. Any smoke you're seeing is coming from... That feels good on the hands. Any smoke you're seeing is coming from the stump beneath. So basically that's it. Now you want to cool this thing off. 
Um, however, way, how, whatever way you can. Don't dunk it in water though, but if there is something moist around, you can set it on it. Like I've got over here just some, let me show you here. Ignore the can. You can use these to make char cloth, they're just a lot more sensitive. This is old, just grass and yard clippings or something. And I can just pick this up, put it on there, it sizzles, and it cools it off. It cools off pretty quick. Um, go to the other side. 2,000 years later. It's cooling off now that there's moisture. I can see that there's moisture on the can. I know it's cool enough to touch. Let's put it back down here and show you what's inside. It's like Christmas, lads. We open up a Christmas present. All right. Now for the, the big reveal. I'll let you guys see it first. Oh, snap. There it is. You see the tree. Everything will shrink down. The cardboard, that's a leaf. You can see the, the leaf structure in there. Anyway, I'm going to show you how well these leaves will catch a spark. Boring. So I put it right up to the edge there and give it a whack. That'll be on our next video, but this is, that is how you make char cloth again. It's gonna reduce in size, so you can pack this thing really full. So that's how you make char cloth. Um, if you're gonna whack it, I like to keep it in the tin sometimes and just whack straight down on it like that. It kinda contains everything. Just don't look down from above because this rock's gonna chip off and it's gonna get in your eyes. Anyway, that's that's going to be for another video. This right here is what we're going for, our char cloth. Again, just a little tin like that. And then I can take this tin and put it inside my camera bag. And that's, that's good to go right there. That's golden. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I love your faces, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.